Simplicity is the key to most successful cooking. That's the message of Consuming Passions today as we bring together two distinct flavors in a stir fry with a difference. Now, as you are no doubt aware, stir frying is the art of almost burning food, of cooking over big heat with a little oil. It's a very effective way of cooking meat, fish, and vegetables. Now, one of our key ingredients today is pork. The other is this, the prune. For some reason, this dried fruit has been the source of ridicule. I can't think why. It's high in fiber, tastes delicious, and complements some meats beautifully. The meat I'll be using is new-fashioned Australian pork. There are now 13 cuts which qualify for the tick of approval from the National Heart Foundation because they're low in cholesterol and low in fat. I'll be using leg steak, which has been cut very thinly by the butcher. Now, the other ingredients are spring onion, little garlic, some onions, some red capsicum. I'll season with black pepper, a little chilli sauce, or you could use fresh or dried chilies, and for a marinade, some sherry, some dried coriander, sesame oil, soy sauce, and I'll finish up garnishing with fresh coriander. And this is what you do. Simply cut any remaining fat from the meat, and there really is hardly any left on here. Just take that away. And cut the meat into slices. A tip here is to put the meat in the freezer for an hour or so to bring it down to zero degrees. It'll make it much easier to cut thinly. Now to the marinade. It really doesn't matter if any one of these ingredients is left out, but it would be better if you could include them all. Sesame oil. For nuttiness, it's very strongly flavored, so just a few drops. I use chili and ginger sauce, but just chili would do. And again, just a small amount, about a teaspoonful. We don't want to overpower the delicate flavor of the pork. A little sherry, Australian sherry, of course. Soy sauce, and here I use a reduced salt variety. And about half a teaspoon of ground coriander. And finally, the pepper. And we marinate the pork pieces in this aromatic mixture, preferably for about six hours, or overnight is fine to the vegetables. With any stir fry, it's a good idea to have all your vegetables prepared and on hand, because once the process starts, it's very quick. Slice the capsicum into thin strips. Cut the onion into thin slices. Chop up the spring onions using both the white and the green parts. Chop the garlic. And cut the pitted prunes into halves. Now to the exciting part. I've brought the pork and the vegetables to where the action is. The pork's been drained and I've reserved the marinade. I'll be using that later. First of all, into the pan with some onions, the garlic, a tiny amount of olive oil. Just for a couple of minutes, so that they can soften. Then the capsicum, red capsicum for color, again for a couple of minutes. When the capsicum is softened, we transfer all this into a dish. A little more oil in the wok, and it's in with our pork. Then the prunes, and they won't need cooking, they just need to warm up and likewise the spring onions. Doesn't that look a treat? Put the onions, garlic and capsicum back into the wok and stir thoroughly for about another minute or so. The marinade. You don't have to use a wok for a stir fry. A frying pan will do. A tip if you're using a cast iron wok is never wash it in soapy water. Just wash it in clean water and before you put it away, put a film of oil on it. Then next time you cook, you won't need to use as much oil. Make sure there's plenty of heat under the wok. Otherwise, the meat will stew and toughen, which is not what we want. Right, the dish is cooked. Out it comes, pork and prune stir fry, served on a bed of Australian rice, sprinkled with a little coriander. Oh, beautiful. And to complement it, a glass of Pinot Noir, lightly chilled. From Consuming Passions, Bon Appetit.